terrorists. Hold on. Here's Tara's Daily Rant. You see what's going on with Disney? Disney just had a Dylan Mulvaney moment, but I, I want to point out something about it because our site is having a very difficult time reporting this correctly. They hired um, a non-binary, so this is a person who does not identify as male or female, but looks like a female, but is actually a man, influencer. Um, it's, it's being called Disney's Dylan Mulvaney moment. But they hired this influencer to dress as Minnie Mouse to promote their products. But I want you to notice what they did. Okay, this is why Dylan Mulvaney freaked me out and scared me so badly. Okay, there are a ton of transgender influencers online. Or dime does. Nobody pays any attention to them. There's like, you know, grass on your lawn. Dylan Mulvaney, remember Dylan Mulvaney's stick that made uh, him so popular, so much of a standout because he was one of the first to do this, was that he was a 26, now 27 year old gay man who identified not as a woman, okay? That doesn't make you particularly special on TikTok or Instagram. He identified as a girl, a prepubescent girl. So he was, remember, very clear. His transition, he was going to go from male to female. Yeah, done that. Been there. Boring. And then from female to child. And so this is why he was hired, for instance, um, to uh, dress as Eloise um, and the character from those children's books. So this is... The beginning of grown men transitioning to be children. You know what that's going to mean? They're going to want to hang out with your kids because they identify as a child. They should be able to hang out with children. This, this new influencer hired by Disney, same thing. He was hired not to sell women's clothes or because he identifies as an adult non-binary person, but because he identifies as a child and sells children's products. See what's going on here? Can you see it? This is the second time one of these has been picked out. Not a transgender person. Not just a, a bi, non-binary person is a man, but I definitely, no. So they had this person dress up in children's girls' clothes as Minnie Mouse. You could see in the pictures in the UK Daily Mail. It is shocking. Wow, is that shocking? You can see. Dressed in girls' Minnie Mouse outfits to sell clothes, not to women, but to girls. So what is it? This is the beginning. This is the beginning of adults identifying as children to sell children's brands, children's things, and to appeal to children as peers, as playgroup members. I'm going to bottom line. It's very pedophilic, pedophilic, extremely so. So this is the, this is not transgender man identifies with this is, Hey, I can be a child too. And that's, what's been so just to watch Dylan Mulvaney's transition truly is unique. He was celebrating a year of not womanhood, but girlhood. And if you go through his, you know, all of his Instagram, TikTok, it is his transition. It's his surgeries. It's like a diary of his surgeries where he's literally shaving off bone um, to get a smaller torso to look not like a woman. Yes, at first it was a woman, but to look like a child. And he's, he was aiming to be somewhere. He wanted to be a, a, a girl at the beginning of puberty. So somewhere between like 11 and 13. And he very much has achieved that. Um, he is looking more and more girl. Like even the UK Daily Mail called the transition bizarre, increasingly bizarre. So in other words, in the beginning, he's transitioning to a woman. Again, pretty common on TikTok or Instagram. That's very 2020, very 2019, very old. Everybody does it. This is new. And that Disney has picked this out. This part of, if you just want to make a statement about transgenderism, you, you have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of very popular influencers you could have picked from. This was not that. This is about normalizing the idea that a grown man can be a girl, that a grown man could be a child, that a grown man is an appropriate model for girls' clothing. And not just like kind of girls' clothing. I'm talking young girls. If you look at the outfits that this person is modeling, these are the, the, the clear target demo for that. 
as a mom, I'm an expert on girls, I'll tell you. This is what my daughter would have liked to have worn because she was into Disney back then. Probably about age six to nine. Five to nine, six to nine, maybe 10 tops. They're kind of coming out of that. And you hire a grown man to target that demo? You see what they're doing here? God, so clear to me. Anyway, our side has trouble understanding this when they report it. They'll say trans. No, it's this is not. This is not that. This is a new thing. Terrorists want it. Hear the Terror Show weekday mornings on News Talk 98.9. W-O-R-D, the voice of the Carolinas.